Hi everyone, my name is Miren Lebruna Gusto and my report is all about the commodities and culture by John Fiske, Understanding the Pop Culture. So, thank you for joining me today. So, my topic is all about the commodities and culture by John Fiske, Understanding Popular Culture. So, I am Marilyn Elagos, your tr- yours truly. So, here are the learning outcomes. At the end of the lessons, the student must be able to understand what is commodities and culture. Second, understand what is the popular culture. And the last is why we need to study the commodities and culture. So, first, we need to identify who is John Fiske. So, John Fiske was born in Hartford, Connecticut on March 30, 1842. After graduating from Harvard Law School in 1865, he opened a law practice in Boston but soon turned to writing. His career as an author began in 1861 with an article on Master Buckle's Palaces, published in the National Quarterly Review. Since that time, he had been a frequent contributor to American and British periodicals. Early in his career, Fiske also achieved popularity as a lecturer on history and his latter life was occupied mostly with that field. In 1869 to 1871, he was university lecturer on philosophy at Harvard. In 1870, an instructor in history there. And in 1872 to 1879, assistant librarian. On resigning as librarian, lab, librarian in 1879, he was elected as a member of the Board of Overseas and at the end of the six years term was re-elected in 1885. Since 1881, he had lectured annually on American history of Washington University, St. Louis, Mos- Mosary, and since 1884 had held a profish professorship of American history there. He is lectured in American history at University College London in 1879 and at the Royal Institution of Great Britain in 1880. A large part of his life had been dev- devoted to the society of his history, but an early age inquiries into the nature of human evolution lead him to carefully study the doctrine of evolution, and it was this popularization of European evolutionary theory that public first knew. So, John Visky understand understanding popular culture. So, first we need to identify culture. So, culture is the constant process of producing meanings and from our social experience. So, these meanings produce a social identity. Culture making is a constant process. And it is a distinctly social process. All meanings that are produced in our particular culture are in the context of particular society. This sociality system is stratified, meaning it is dominated by certain groups who have relatively more power, white, males, wealthy capitalists. The dominant ideologies of our society emanate from these categories more than others. These dominant ideologies affect the preferred or dominant culture, leading of media text. So, ideology. However, there are alternative or oppositional ide- ideologies too. Oppositional ideologies are more likely to emanate from social categories that are ranked near the bottom of our social stratification system. Racial minorities, women, the poor, and etc. Alternative op- oppositional readings of media text are more likely to emanate from these groups, the subordinated. Popular culture. Because culture re- relates to the social system and to its power is structure, culture is in inherent, 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 inherently political. It is centrally involved in this, in the contribution or possibly the redistribution of social power. Popular culture is made by the various social categories who are subordinated or 
disempowered in some way by the social system. It emanates from people who lack of the privileges that social power provides. So mass society, stratification, and dominant ideology. The larger or mainstream culture of a society will tend to reflect the meanings and interests of those categories that have the most power in society. Those, po- those groups are in power have various resources of society at their disposal to assure that their ideologies, values, and myths are visible throughout the mainstream culture. So our mass society reflects the interests of the subor- superordinates, the dominant categories within the social stratification system, particularly white males and the rich. So the dominant system provides lots of resources. The dominant social system provides lots of resources in our culture, like cars, roads, TVs, games, language, shopping malls, music, sports, and etc. These resources, they subtly reinforce the, the hegemony of their interest. For instance, the English language subtly reinforces patriarchy. It has so many words against women and so few against men. However, if appropriated in the popular culture, these resources may be, may be modified to carry contradictory messages. Feminists, for example, use the term war against men and thus liberate the word from its patriarchal connotation. Mass culture versus pop culture, popular culture. In the mass culture, the mainstream way of life involves every day. Baby cracker and cookie cutter. Lifestyle that presumes certain preferred readings of media texts. The Bitty cracker norms of everyday life are sufficient for most people, particularly those who do not feel disempowered by the social system. Popular culture, however, is made by the people who lack some of these societal resources. It is made by it is made by subordinates within the stratification system who do feel somewhat disempowered. The beauty cracker lifestyle, the cookie cutter lifestyle, doesn't work for them. Popular culture is contradictory because beauty cracker is rejected to some extent. So Bernie say seek to make their own culture. To do this, they must appropriate the existing resources provided by the very social system that disempowers them. Popular culture is therefore contradic- contradictory because it is the uses the resources provided by the dominant social system, but it uses them in ways that are not intended by the dominant social system. In other words, these people are purchasing by P.T. Crocker brownies, but they are choosing to not follow the direction provided by B.T. Crocker on how to cook these brownies. They are making something that fits their own subculture. So, here are the some domi- the commodities of culture. So let us take the television as the paradigm example of a culture industry and trace the production and distribution of its commodities. Commodities are text within two parallel. Semitonomous economies, which we call the financial, which circula- circulates wealth in two, two subsystems, and the cultural, which circulates meaning and pleasures. They can mod- model thus. So here are some the paradigm example of culture industry, the producer, commodity, commodity consumer. So production studio, program distributor, program audience advisor, in audience meaning pleasure and self. So what does Fiske argue about the culture industry? So Fiske is arguing for a strategy of looking at pat- popular culture from the ground group suggesting that those who consume consume the products of mass culture do so in ways that can recess the meanings offered them by the producer of mass culture and that this product is popular culture. Chan Fiske argues that popular culture lies not in the production of commodities so much as the productive use of industrial commodities. By the word culture, 
we refer to the social circulation of meanings, values, and pleasures to the processes forming social identities. So the phenomenon of what John Fiske defined is in the first chapter of his book, Reading the Popular as Understanding Popular Culture, is that culture is the constant process of reducing meanings and meanings of and from our social experience, and such meanings necessarily produce as social identity for the people involved. Popular, popular culture is something that has not yet been accepted as part of the dominant culture. It's different forms. The strategy it what adopts against kind of culture it responds and the necessity further coming into existing something called popular culture and the meaning created created by it we are ruled by a dominant patriarchal predominantly white capitalist society this is the first stage in the beginning of popular culture culture popular culture is created from the dominant culture that restrains it it is made from the people that the dominant culture feels are inferior. Popular culture is made by the various formation of subordinated or disempowered people out of the resources, both discursive and material that are provided by the social system that disempowers them. So here are the summary of understanding the popular culture. By the word, by the word culture, we refer to the social circulation of meanings, values, and pleasure to the processes of, of forming social identities. Popular is more elusive term even the culture. One meaning of the word is what is the most popular is what appeals to the most people. Another meaning of the word, uh, ana another supported by Jan Fiske is that the popular serves the interest of the people. In this light, John Fiske referenced this strategy in his book, Understanding Popular, Understanding Popular Culture, seeing that popular culture is the art of making do. Fiske underlines that people can't be generalized into a mass, cult, mass, hmm, mass, we are all consumes, consume differently and a ready product can be changed and other and used in our own way. When we, all, when we buy a product, we make our own meaning to it. For instance, a simple woman's bag can be decorated by the consumer so that it can fit the needs and satisfy the person's desires. This is why the products of the commodity are the consumers. The final product is our needs and meanings, meanings and therefore we gain pleasure when we consume. For our culture to exist, it needs to have meaning to us. This is why these meanings can be produced, which is a constant and active process since our everyday lives and therefore needs are changing fast. Fiske also claimed that for a production, production of com of a of a commodity, the ethnicity, class, gender doesn't matter since our needs and daily round does not distinguish themselves from these qualities. What matter is what is popular, and what is popular is this is claimed by the people whose need meanings dictate in the internalization of products. Even thought the industry and advertisers are trying to control these cultural meanings and needs people resist and fit the product to their lives as this says as an example people can do and do their their genes and we are not talking only to fit it into our daily round but also to our uniqueness each person desires to distinguish themselves so it has a common practice to a product and remake it through so thank you and it is the end of my report. Thank you for listening.